Hello, welcome to Coach Michael 101, where we listen to music, check out movies, other miscellaneous mayhem, and hopefully have some fun along the way. If you like what you see today, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, below definitely subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Today we're going to check out The Flyover, America's greatest pregame tradition. Uh, we're doing that specifically because right now I am training F-16 fighter pilots. And so I know what they do. I know how they train. I know all the stresses they go through. Um, and they've actually done several flyovers. In fact, if you've seen a flyover at a game anywhere from Dallas up to Green Bay in the center of the U.S., it's probably my pilots doing it. So let's check out the flyover, America's greatest pregame tradition. Let it roll. Five seconds now. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> when it comes to the, the pregame flyovers, that is something that you can see it a hundred times, and the hundredth time you see it, it's impressive. You know, it's it's amazing because, because I see them take off two times a day. In fact, I can feel the jets take off from my office. You can feel it through the walls. And so he is absolutely right. I don't care how many times you see it. It is impressive. When those jets come flying by, you can see it a million times. And it still is inspiring and amazing. The sheer beauty of it and the extreme power of these things flying by and the precision. There's a bomber. Ah, look at the picture of that thing. Is it going to come over? Yeah. Pretty impressive. <laughs> That's impressive, isn't it? Perhaps the most impressive moment of the NFL pregame pageantry is the shock and awe of the flyover. My favorite part of the game is when the Jets fly over the stadium. I think they should do that before every game because it just Absolutely. signifies where you are and you're in the, the big leagues and you're about the game is about to start. I love all flyovers. I don't care. Piper Cubs in formation, helicopters. Lots of helicopters at Patrick Air Force Base. Where I was at. By God, what we're about to do is important. There's something about the size, the sound. You can feel those jets going over the top. A lot of times when you get the flyovers, it's just a surprise, <laughs> and you're not really expecting it. I try to find out when we're having those flyovers, because if you don't know, they can scare the hell out of you. Yeah, if, if you haven't seen one in person, you have no idea the volume that comes off those jets, the sound, the vibration. Uh, I don't care how many times you see Top Gun, it isn't even close until you see it in person prize and you're not really expecting it i try to find out when we're having those flyovers because if you don't know they can scare the hell out of you <laughs> those big helicopter ones you know the big like chuk -chuk 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 -chuk, like they're really loud and they feel like they're 10 feet above you i love those there you go go could be the most exciting five seconds in football. In a game known for its complex passing patterns and crossing routes, it only makes sense that a good flyover can give inspiration. Most complicated NFL offense yeah, there are flyovers isn't even coming there are to the precision. To the the I can remember being in Kansas City and Derek Thomas, whose uh, dad died in Vietnam, and the flyover was always special to him. Whenever we'd have one, you could almost say, hey, Derek's going to have a big game today. A-10s were frequent at Patrick Air Force Base. A precise flyover is much like a fine-tuned offense in that it requires perfect timing 
and a solid game plan. Okay, mission objectives uh, for the day is an exact TOT over the center of Soldier's Field at Zulu time 21, 37, and 40 seconds. This is the stadium itself. Very precise. Okay, this half loop looking thing. So the things that are biggest factor for us is this building will be uh, well above this building. You'll notice on the drive-in today this building has a crane on the top. Okay, we should be off. Pilots the spend right. more time in briefing and debriefing factor. than they actually the spend in the air. Okay, Lake Point Tower is probably our biggest threat. Anything that's a factor for the flight, call it out, whether it's a tower, birds, other airplanes, tall buildings, you name it. Going to fly right over the southern end zone, right uh, over the top of the, uh, the goal post, and pressing straight out here with a right turn out uh, over the lake. Crazy. While the Panthers are set to play the Bears, the flyover crew is busy making their last second adjustments. <laughs> Okay, everybody ready for rollover? Hey, A-10s. Roll up for Ooh. How does that not give you chills right there? So perfect. Some F-16s right there. In a post-9-11 world, a flyover can mean more than the beginning of a football game. A flyover can symbolize pride in a nation or a rallying call from tragedy. Right after September 11th, the Giants were coming into uh, in the Arrowhead. It was very emotional just because of the time and then we had to, we had to fly over it. Just, I don't know if there was a dry eye in the air. There's something about a flyover that is just unbelievable. The anthem is ending. It's hitting that beautiful crescendo. Plane comes over. And Jet. That's America. Well, maybe if you're around the world and you're watching that, I think you go, you know what? I get it. America's pretty cool. <laughs> nice. That was the flyover, America's greatest pregame tradition. That I train uh, F-16 pilots currently, and you know you might not think that they would do a lot of weight training, but imagine taking off in a jet or doing a high-speed maneuver at nine Gs, nine times the pull of gravity. Your head plus a helmet, suddenly your head can go from you know 15, 16 pounds to 160, 170 pounds while you're looking around. So a lot of stress on the neck, a lot of stress on the back. Uh, the G-force alone puts a lot of stress on the pilot. So they, they work very hard, and I'm uh, very proud to say I'm part of that. But if you like what we saw today, hit the like button. Leave a comment down below if you've ever seen a flyover, um, or if you would like to. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Um, turn on the post notification bells and definitely, definitely make sure you sign up and follow me. Um, this is Coach Michael, 101, where we listen to music, watch movies, check out other miscellaneous mayhem like flyovers, and have a good time while we're doing it. This video. Mm -hmm.